Commanders, welcome to the 12th and final part of our guide series. In today's video, we'd like to tell you more about some of the tactics commonly used on the battlefields of armored warfare. The first thing that needs to be mentioned is that there's no one sure way to victory. Even if you do everything right, your team may still lose for a number of reasons. Nevertheless, there are certain tools that every player should know about. Let's talk about the basics. The first tactic you need to know about is called Hull Down. The biggest problem of even the heaviest and best armored MBTs is that their lower frontal armor is typically fairly thin, and a major weak spot along with its turret ring, hatches and hull and turret roof, all of which represent much smaller targets than the lower frontal plate. When in defensive, the best tactic therefore is to assume a hull down position, where the hull is covered by a piece of terrain while your typically heavily armored turret is free to fire at your enemies. This tactic makes main battle tanks very hard to dislodge, but can be countered by the use of top-down guided missiles, mechanized infantry with mortars or HE shells, since the defending MBT must remain static. It should also not be attempted by vehicles with unarmored turrets, as it will not give them any advantage whatsoever. Speaking of frontal armor, another tactic to maximize its effectiveness is called angling. When it comes to armor thickness, Armored Warfare Armor Model doesn't only work with nominal thickness, but also the angle of shell impact. The sharper the impact angle, the thicker the armor the shell has to penetrate. This value is sometimes referred to as effective armor. What this means for you is that whenever a shell impacts your vehicle, it should always be under the sharpest angle possible. Whenever you're facing your opponent and you see him aiming at your weakest armor, for example, the low frontal plate, always try to angle the armor by traversing your hull to the side. That way your effective armor value will increase considerably even if you're caught with your weak spots exposed. An additional tactic can be derived from angling. It's called wiggling. Simply put, when you're caught in the open and you can't hide your hull or turret weak spots from the enemy, try moving your hull from side to side constantly. If the enemy is aiming at your turret, move the turret instead. This will make it harder for you to aim, but increases your chances of not getting penetrated. Additionally, if the enemy is an inexperienced player, he might miss the shot entirely. Another rather specific tactic typically tied to urban area defense is called side scraping. When you're defending a street corner, approach the building head on without exposing yourself over the corner. Then slowly angle your hull a bit and drive back so that only the side of your vehicle is exposed at a very sharp angle along with your turret. Fire a shot and head back to cover. However, please note that this is a very difficult tactic to pull off and doesn't work with all vehicles or under all circumstances. Study your vehicle's side armor in the Armor Inspector tab to learn whether it will work out or not. It's worth noting that sometimes the tactic of being in cover, peeking out, firing a shot, and then driving back into cover is referred to by players as peek a -boom. It is a slang term, but you might run into it when interacting with the community. The tactics we just described are most suitable for the main battle tank class. Lighter classes typically have to rely on their speed or stealth to survive on the battlefield. Light tanks and armored fighting vehicles are especially adept at this. Their role on the battlefield is to spot the enemies for other classes to take care of or to deal damage. Let's focus on the spotting. There are two ways to do it. Active spotting is best suited for vehicles that aren't all that stealthy but can also take a hit such as various light tanks and IFEs. Simply put, you drive very fast while exposing yourself as little as possible. By driving alongside the enemy lines and not right towards them, you make yourself difficult to hit. This is, of course, a risky tactic that may grant you many rewards for spotting, but can also lead to your quick demise. Proceed with caution. Passive spotting is safer but less effective. Using your vehicle's stealth and long view range, you hide behind a piece of foliage and wait. Some retrofits, modules, and commander skills increase your stealth and spotting range when stationary. So if your vehicle is configured properly, you'll see them long before they see you, allowing your team to start firing earlier. While this may seem easy, you need to know your maps well. Position yourselves too far from your team and you'll get killed without doing any good. Also, make sure to position yourselves behind a bush. 
do not drive into it directly. And last but not least, if dealing damage is your thing, the flanking tactic is there for you. To flank the enemy properly, wait until the line is stretched or until you run into some lone stragglers from the enemy team. Circle around them and start firing into their vulnerable sides and rears. Once you empty your vehicle's clip, retreat quickly and wait for another opportunity to wreak havoc. These are the basic tactics you can use to survive in the world of armored warfare. And the guide series is now concluded. What other content would you like to see on our YouTube channel? Tell us in the comments below, subscribe, and as always, see you on the battlefield!